Move is another way to tap into China's rapidly multiplying cinema audience. Box office totals are second only to the United States, but China is catching up and catching up fast. Not only that, there's now a push to bring more Chinese-made movies to American audiences. CCTV's Mei Li takes a look at the China-Hollywood connection. For Hollywood, China is the goose that's laying a steady stream of golden eggs. Currently, China is the second largest box office in the world, but it's expected to surpass the U.S. by as early as 2018. The old days, if you opened a film in the U.S. and you did good box office in the U.S., that's all you needed to worry about. And now most of these big, especially the big tent pole, the big event movies, they're making three quarters roughly of their uh, box office overseas. And that's crucial to a studio's bottom line, especially when a big budget movie has less than stellar results domestically. The most recent Terminator sequel, Genesis, featuring the return of Arnold Schwarzenegger, is the latest example. The film cost $155 million, but pulled in less than $90 million at the U.S. box office. But in China, Genesis raked in more than $100 million. I'll be back. What? But it's not just about ticket sales in China. Hollywood films are also getting Chinese money to fund projects. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation was partially funded by Alibaba. That growing influence of the Chinese market has some in Hollywood concerned. To get that stamp of approval from the Chinese government, I'd like, I'd like to say that American filmmakers are going to stand strong by their principles and never uh, bend. But if they think they can get into that Chinese market and they have to make a few alterations, I think they will alter the content. Case in point, Transformers Age of Extinction, which U.S. critics pan for its overt Chinese themes. But the strategy worked. It's one of the highest grossing films of all time in China. I think we just found a Transformer. But sometimes it's too little too late. World War Z starring Brad Pitt was shut out of the Chinese market, despite taking out a line suggesting the zombie apocalypse started in China. There's now a growing trend to turn that one-way street into a two-way exchange. Chinese filmmakers are looking to make more content for export. A project that's getting a lot of buzz right now is a film based on the Chinese fable, The Monkey King. The live-action film will be a Chinese-U.S. production using talent from both sides of the Pacific. The East to West movement could be the difference Chinese filmmakers are hoping for, as well as Asian actors who have yet to break through the Hollywood glass ceiling. Our story is organic. It's not just in order to put a diversity into the film, you put an Asian for a small role, say a few words. No, our story is, you know, it, it, it came from our experiences. And as long as Chinese cinema continues its explosive growth, those experiences will have a very good chance at making it onto silver screens worldwide. Mei Li, CCTV, Los Angeles.